just wanted to give you guys a quick tip on this water in particular. I don't know if all are like it, but this one is. When you set up a program to run, you only need one start time to run a whole program or a whole a series of, of sprinklers. So let me show you what I mean by that. Right now, this thing is set up that at 9.15 tomorrow morning, it's going to kick on and it's going to water all three beds. But it can only run one of these valves at a time. So 9.15 is going to open the first valve out of all of them that are programmed to run. It's going to open the first valve and it's going to run it for the designated run time. Then it's going to open the second valve, run for the designated run time, and then the third valve. Sorry that got blurry on you. Um, I mean, I, I'm saying one, two, and three. Obviously that's one. But in my case, these three are the ones that are running right now. So, or that are set up to run. <clears throat> but if you program into the system here and you tell it that you want each valve to open at a specific time, it won't do that. It just runs them consecutively. So the, the reason I wanted to share this was because it's confusing a little bit. I don't know if the book explains it or not. I don't remember. I read the book over a year ago. See, if I was to set this program up, okay, I went to start time. And right now I'm not running valve one, so start time is nothing. I'm going to valve two. Let's see if I can get that to clear up. Valve two says to start at 9.15. Valve 3 says nothing, and Valve 4 says nothing, but I am running 3 and 4, and I'll show you that right here on runtime. See, Valve 1's running nothing, Valve 2's running 20, 3's running 20, and 4 is running 20. So, this thing will kick on at 9.15, and the system will run for a total of an hour, and shut off at 10.15. However, if I go in and do what, what would seem logical to most of us, and I was to set a start time, if I set this start time at, you know, 9.35, because I think that's 20 minutes after the first one and then I set this start time at 9 55 because that's 20 minutes after the last one logically to me what it will actually do is it'll actually run this system the whole thing through three times so what it will do is at 9 15 it'll open valve 2 it'll run it for 20 minutes then valve 3 for 20 minutes then valve 4 for 20 minutes then it'll start the system over and it'll say okay I had two more start times that I have to complete so then it's going to run the whole system again because it's going to start and it, it just pushes all the start times back so it would end up running for a total of three hours, even though I only wanted to run for one hour. So I learned this kind of in the roundabout way. And uh, I guess before I figured it out, I probably was using a little bit more water than I realized. So I was running the system a lot more than I realized. And I was basically just, I was stacking these run times and uh, you certainly don't need to. So like I said, I wanted to share that with you guys as far as programming this thing. For the most part, it's very intuitive. It's very, you know, self-explanatory for the most part. Um, I really like this timer, but you just have to know little little things like that. I think that's really the first little quirk that I've found. So, like I said, sorry, my daughter's rocking and rolling. She's on my back, and she's rocking back and forth. That made that bounce. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys, like I said. So, I'm going to turn it back to auto like it needs to be. And uh, see, it's showing 9.15. Tomorrow morning, it's going to kick on. It's going to run. It says Program A, which is the only one I have programmed to run right now. Program A is running all three valves. And when it kicks on, true to the way I had it designed, when it kicks on, pump's hooked up, the pump's gonna turn on. Oh, I keep losing focus. The pump's gonna turn on, and it's gonna pull water from the barrels and water the garden. Um, just something else coming up. The barrels, as you can see, are listing badly to the left there. So I'm actually work, I'm actually pumping out of them right now. Well, when I water, I'm pumping out of them, but not at this instant. Rather than normally I pump out of the ground barrel first, but I'm going to drain these first because I've got to get them down off those stands and get those stands fixed. I can't have these things sitting up here like this. These things, when they're full of water, weigh over a ton. So I definitely don't want these one-ton totes of water to fall and crash to the ground. 